गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे इट्स योर मैथमेटिक्स क्लास फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर टू चैप्टर नेम पॉलानॉमल दिस इज आवर लेक्चर वन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस योर चैप्टर पॉलानॉमियल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्विच ऑन योर नाइन्थ क्लास कॉन्सेप्ट वी विल रिकॉल सम कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू योर एट्थ क्लास इन एट्थ क्लास यू रीड अ चैप्टर एल्जब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन which is also related to polynomial so first of all we have to recall those concepts then we will switch on polynomial so in eighth class first of all with introduction we will start with algebraic expressions algebraic expressions are those expressions in which some variables constants are connected with some mathematical operations so which type of mathematical operation like addition and subtraction now we will take a simplest example of algebraic expression 5x minus 3 in this x is representing a variable so what is the variable variables are those terms or those things whose value is not fixed they change situation to situation question to question here 3 is representing as constant constants are those things whose value is fixed they do not change next thing is term what is term like your definition i uh, said that uh, the variable and the constants are connected with some mathematical operation like addition and subtraction here we have subtraction so it is first term and then it is second term so in this expression we have two terms next thing is coefficient what is coefficient the constant value or a fixed value present before a or in front of a variable we called as the coefficient so in this expression what is the coefficient of x is 5 so in a algebraic expression we have four main terms variable constant terms and coefficient if we will take some example like x and y this is an example of algebraic expression here we have two variables and 3 is representing the coefficient of these variables next is 4x square here we have variable x and 4 is the coefficient of x square in this expression we have 5x square plus 9y first term second term what is the coefficient of x square 5 what is the coefficient of y 9 so next a topic is type of algebraic expression now we have two type of algebraic expression one type of algebraic expression on the basis of terms and type of algebraic expression on the basis of degree which i told which i will explain later first of all type of algebraic expression on the basis of terms first one is monomial monomial are those algebraic expression in which we have only one term like 3x 5y square 9xy next one is binomial binomial are those algebraic expressions in which two terms are there like this we have 4x square plus 5x 4x square plus 5x 9x square minus 3 first term second term in this expression first term second term so if i will ask question then what is the coefficient of x square here then your answer will be 9 and what is the coefficient of x x is not present in this expression so coefficient of x is 0 trinomial trinomial are those algebraic expressions in which three terms are present like these two examples we have three term first term second term and third term first term second term and third term so these three type of the algebraic expression based on the term now next question is if terms are more than 3 then what will we do so if terms are more than 3 then we call them as polynomial so our next topic is next topic is degree degree is the highest power of variable what is the highest power of the variable highest power of the variable like if we will take this example 3x square 5 it is an example of algebraic expression in this expression we have only one variable which is x so what is the power of variable is 2 so the highest power of the variable in this expression is 2 so the degree of the polynomial is 2 in if we will take next 
example here we have expression 5x square plus 6 raised to the power 10 y in this expression we have two variable one is x one is y so in this expression we have two powers power 2 power 10 so what will your answer if i will ask you question what is the degree of this expression so some student will say ma'am 2 some student will say ma'am 10 who will write so now the answer of your question then which one is right so x power 2 so the highest power of the variable in this expression is 2 because 6 not a variable 6 is a constant number but in the form of degree we have to take highest power of variable only so what is the degree of this expression 2 what is the degree of this expression 2 in the next example 7x plus 2y 10 so in this expression we have two variables what is the degree of uh, this expression 8 because 8 is the highest power of the variable next type of polynomial on the basis of degree you now you know degree now the type of polynomial on the basis of degree first one is linear polynomial linear polynomial are those polynomial in which degree of the polynomial is 1 example 3x plus 5 4x minus 7x in this expression we have degree 1 because the highest power of the x is 1 in this expression also in this expression also we call them as linear polynomial quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial are those polynomial in which degree of the polynomial is 2 like in this expression we have 3x square minus 9 4x square then minus 7 x y plus 2 so in this expression highest power of the variable is 2 in this expression highest power of the variable of the 2 now in this expression you uh, will be little confused that we have both variable different variable together then how we will count degree because in our previous examples only one variable they're present were present and now in this expression we have two different variable together so students First of all, when these type of variables are present together, we will count or add their power together. So, in this expression, in the first term, we have minus 7x power 1, y power 1. So, it means minus 7xy power together power 2 plus 2. Nothing variable is there. So, the highest power of uh, this expression is 2. So, the degree of the expression is 2 next is cubic polynomial cubic polynomial are those polynomial in which degree of the polynomial is 3 like if we will take this expression 3x square minus 2y square plus 5x minus 9 minus 4x cube this is an expression this is also an expression it is not necessary that uh, all uh, descending order powers should be present there and uh, they both are the example of the cubic polynomial here we have a variable x so here power of the x is 3 power of the x is 2 and then 1 so the highest power is 3 so the degree of the polynomial is 3 here also degree of the polynomial is 3 now you already know about algebraic expressions about variable constants terms coefficients degree and the type of the polynomial on the basis of degree and on the basis of term now finally we reached on our definition of a polynomial definition of a polynomial what is polynomial an algebraic expression of the form of px what is px here p is representing for the polynomial and x here representing that variable which is present in your given example of a polynomial it is not necessary then each and every time we will write x here if like in this uh, expression we have x here then we will write px if we will uh, uh, here with the y variable then we will write here v p y so polynomial px a not x power n plus a1 x power n minus 1 and so on upon a n is called a polynomial provide it has no negative exponent for any variable and a0 a1 constants 
are the real numbers so in a easy way what is a polynomial an algebraic expression in which a expression px will present like an example is this and one most important condition of polynomial is that it has no negative exponent no negative exponent means we don't have power in the form of rational number in the form of decimal in the form of any fraction so only positive whole number power will be counted so those algebraic expressions we have uh, in any algebraic expression if we have a power negative rational or decimal then it will not become a polynomial so an algebraic expression of the form of px is called a polynomial only it has no negative exponent for any variable now we will discuss some examples related to your polynomial so first example is 2x square plus 5 upon y now my question is this is your polynomial or not first of all we will solve this uh, expression 2x square as it is plus 5 now when we will sh shift a polynomial from numerator denominator to the numerator from denominator to the numerator then the power will be sign of the power will be change if we have positive here then it will be changed into the negative if we will negative here then it will be changed into the positive here we have positive x power 1 positive x power 1 so when we will shift from denominator to the numerator it will x power minus 1 so now you please tell me this is a polynomial or not no it is not a polynomial because reason here we have a negative power which is not allowed in polynomial now a next second example x square plus 2 upon 5x x square plus 2 upon 5x is an example of a polynomial definitely it is an example of a polynomial because some of the student will confuse that we have a fraction here because uh, students it is not necessary that the constant number uh, will present as a whole number it will be a rational number a real number with irrational numbers also it is allowed but only the powers of the variable should be present in with whole number power like if we will take a next example t uh, present under root uh, and this is your example then we will when we will solve it then the power of the t is half because we know the value of this root is half plus t root 2 so then in this expression we have a power in a rational number so this is not your polynomial next example is 4x raised to the power 3 by 2 upon root x now we will solve this example first if we have a 4x raised to the power 3 by 2 then in, in the denominator we have x raised to the power 1 upon 2 when we will shift this denominator part to the numerator then the powers will be subtracted because according to the laws of exponent when the bases are same and powers are different and mathematical division operation is there then powers will be subtracted so it is 4 raised to the power x1 4 into x raised to the power 1 so it is definitely a polynomial so do not decide according to the um, face of the question that it is a polynomial or not first of all we have to decide if root is present then it is possible uh, it is a polynomial first of all we have to solve then we will decide now we have two types of another uh, polynomial one is constant polynomial like if we have a 2 7 and minus 5 they are polynomial or not yes they are polynomial we call them as constant polynomial how constant polynomial example if we will take 2 can i write 2 into 1 it is also mean by 2 and we know it very well ki, uh, that 1 means x raised to the power 1 in our laws of exponent we know it very well then any uh, constant number raised to the power 0 is equals to 1 so we will write this as this also and this as this also so i change this one x raised to the power 0 so 2 into x raised to the power 0 so it is an example of a constant polynomial now the question is 0 is also a constant polynomial no we called 0 as a 0 polynomial because 0 into 1 is also a 0 it is not possible to change it into in any variable now 
last question of this topic is what is constant polynomial and what is zero polynomials degree so constant polynomials degree is zero and zero polynomial degree is not defined i am repeating again degree of the constant polynomial is zero in each and every case and degree of the zero polynomial is not defined so class thank you very much it's your lecture related to the basic concepts of uh, polynomial now today you have to solve your exercise 2.1 from your ncrt on the basis of these topics thank you very much